Okay guys, so today I'm going to talk about trauma and something called the trauma cycle. So this is really about processing uh, feelings and emotions properly so that an underlying trauma, I'm really talking about complex trauma today, so that's to do with deeply rooted traumas that date back usually to childhood and that affect our relationships in later life and things like our attachment style, whether we have a secure attachment style, an insecure attachment style, um, avoidant attachment style. But you know, I'm, I'm not going to go into that too much today. I just want to keep this simple. This is a way for us to start healing complex trauma. And it's a simple way to think about it, right? So the first thing we're going to talk about today is trauma. What is trauma? So trauma. That's where this all begins. A lot of these emotional problems, this emotional roller coaster in life comes back down to an underlying trauma that we have. We may be denying it or we may be repressing it, but it does show up in our life in a myriad of different ways. Now, what is trauma? Okay, again, I'm, I'm talking about complex trauma here. There's a way, so a lot of people aren't really too sure, what is trauma? How should I think of trauma? I want you to start thinking about trauma, not necessarily as some sort of a distant memory in your psyche or in your mind, but as an injury, okay? Trauma is an injury. So it's quite a, a clear way to think about a trauma. Imagine if you were to cut your arm, you know, it would bleed, you'd have a scar left over. Our problem is this cycle of trauma, because it's not really dealt with, um, maybe in childhood we had a parent who wasn't attuned to us or we had abuse, we weren't able to talk about it or there was no safe environment or support for us. So in order to get by in life, what we do is we just bury it, keep it repressed, keep it away and try and muddle through life as best we can with this underlying injury still there. It's very hard, you know, we can, we can heal our physical wounds um, quite simply most of the time, but our psychological injuries um, are less obvious, but certainly maybe more painful, okay, in many ways. In fact, I would say they're definitely more painful because they last a lot longer and no one sees them. These are the invisible injuries that we carry with us in our lives. So how does the trauma show up? It's in our subconscious mind usually. We don't go around talking about, oh, I'm, I'm aware of my trauma, but it shows up. And this brings us to this cycle. So how do we heal this trauma? How do we start to begin to heal it? Well, it shows up in our lives. One of the most important things in this video is this word. This is how it shows up. And that is our emotions our emotions you can think of these as secondary emotions that relate to an underlying trauma that we have be that abuse be that um, isolation our needs not being met in childhood a parent who wasn't attuned who wasn't available for us emotionally whatever it is these show up all throughout our lives so we want to start to know well, what are these telling me? How can I deal with them? What are these emotions? That might be, for example, could be um, anxiety. It could be anger, another one. Or it could be, you name it, it could be loneliness, sense of isolation, disconnection, despair, okay, you name it. Uh, depression, right? So these are our secondary emotions. So this is where on the, the trauma cycle, we're going to start by looking at this. Now, by the way, I want you to think of this as it's in your subconscious, right? Your trauma is buried trauma. And I want you to start thinking of it as like a bank. Okay, bear with me and I'll explain that. This is like your trauma bank. So you make deposits, you make withdrawals. And what we really want to do is empty this bank entirely okay just take it all out and then have something else in there other than this trauma 
But the problem is we keep making deposits here. Okay, that's the issue. So that's why we're talking about the, the trauma cycle. We're going to try, start to try and break a cycle that keeps feeding into trauma. It starts off with emotion. Okay, so you're going about your life. And you might think everything's okay, normal, but you have these underlying feelings of anxiety and anger, and they're not easy to deal with. That's the thing. Now, what is the first thing we want to do with these feelings, these secondary emotions? Anxiety, anger. Well, the first thing we want to do is get rid of them. Okay, I don't want this. Please get rid of this. So that's the first step. First thing we do is get rid of it. And how do we do that? How do we get rid of them? How do you get rid of an emotion or uh, something psychological? That is true projection. We project it. Projection. So we are motivated here to get rid of our feelings. We don't want to deal with them, they're too difficult. Maybe we don't have any support anyway, right? So it's very, very difficult for us to do this. So we do that by projecting onto, and that could be something like another person, or it could be um, a situation. But really, as long as we have this, we will find some thing to project onto. It really doesn't matter what it is. So let me just make one other point here, actually. Um, this video is about trauma, but I want this to be like a personal video for you, okay? Um, I want you to hopefully get a better understanding of this cycle that perpetuates an underlying trauma, but use it personally, okay? I want you to be compassionate to yourself with this information and to never blame yourself for any of this, okay? Another thing as well is, is to use it personally. Don't maybe point this out to somebody in your life that you think is doing this um, in a way that's not compassionate. Probably don't even point it out to them at all if you feel like they're not ready to hear this, okay? I mean, I'm when I work with someone in, in a one-to-one -one session, sometimes I, I wouldn't even point this out, you know, because it depends on whether the person is ready to be aware that they're projecting. Um, because of an underlying trauma, because primarily the first thing, maybe the only thing a person who has an underlying trauma needs is compassion and understanding. Okay, that's first and foremost. But you personally, if you have these feelings and you think it might be down to a trauma, compassion is the first thing you need. So none of this is to do with blame. This is just awareness and empowerment. Okay hopefully a tool we can start to use as we go forward and I'll explain more that will help us to deal with this in a better, healthier way that gets rid of this. Okay, it starts to heal this trauma. So we're projecting, right? We're projecting onto the person or the situation. Okay, so what's the problem with that? Well, we've projected now because we feel like this and the next step is after we project, we come down here to, well, what do we do after we project onto something? A person, for instance. Well, the next thing we do is we rationalize. We rationalize our projections. So here, what we're saying to ourselves is, if only that were different. If only that person changed, if only that thing didn't happen, if only this and this and this was not the case. All a justification for the projection, okay? So we, pro we projected and now we have to justify that projection. We have to defend that projection. So at that point, if you rationalize the projection, then there's only really one more step. You've justified it. You're focusing on defending and rationalizing. You're focusing on the situation, the person or event. What are you not focusing on? What are you not focusing on here? Here. 
you're not focusing on the, the secondary feelings because you haven't dealt with them and we'll talk about that in a second you haven't processed them properly you make a deposit right back here where the whole thing started your bank the trauma the injury is sustained it's replenished okay it's not the kind of healthy bank account we want we want to be empty in that bank account so the trauma is sustained and sure enough the negative emotions continue and it's a cycle it keeps going on and on and on right so it's, it starts here this is how we experience it this is how we deal with it this is how it's sustained and then it keeps going on and on and on like this okay so what do we do with this how do we stop this well really you could break this cycle anywhere okay you could break the cycle absolutely anywhere if you were to break the cycle here what you've done is you haven't even projected before you even project you just become aware oh my god I'm anxious I feel incredibly anxious I am angry okay I feel so lonely before you even just project onto any situation okay I'm angry with that person or if I lived in a different city this city is the reason I'm lonely okay whatever it is just sit with the feeling okay breed with it give it time give it some space be present with the actual emotion itself you learn not to be afraid of any of these emotions and they start to dissipate and they start to change into something else they actually start to change into life energy if you like more fulfilling um, empowering emotions um, that are certainly a lot easier to deal with than these ones so you could do it there and once you break that cycle you stop feeding this okay or later in the process you could break the cycle there and that's after you've rationalized so almost at the very end before you bank it back here to feed the trauma again you realize okay I'm rationalizing about this I'm 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 telling myself that it's that other person it's the situation I'm in so you go back and you look at okay what am why am I projecting well not why am I projecting I am projecting okay and you you accept that you're projecting onto something what you do at that point is you mentally remove this situation or the person from your mind just mentally remove them and see what are you left with you're left with an emotion okay you're left with an emotion and then you can start to process that properly to feel it okay to feel your emotion by the way I'm not saying by by the way that that, that there's n there will never be any people or situations in your life that will be challenging okay, of course they will but what I'm saying is if we start to process here and we don't project those situations that arise that are challenging will be far more relaxed and able to deal with them in a proper way right but here is our number one job right dealing with the anxiety the anger the loneliness the despair the depression right that's our responsibility ultimately our biggest responsibility is to be compassionate to ourselves but this is what we need to do this is our job here so we don't project we stop rationalizing we will have ample opportunities in life to practice this okay how do you know you're projecting how do you know you're projecting you're projecting when you have an emotional reaction to someone or a situation outside of yourself it's emotional it's emotionally charged that's how you know you're projecting as soon as you know you're projecting as soon as you spot yourself rationalizing that's how you know it's time to get still slow down opportunity here to heal myself okay to just go back here bring my focus to where it needed to be okay don't give in to that temptation to get rid of the feelings or to even you know do other things like distract yourself or um, there's a multitude of other sort of ways we do that that we'll look at maybe in, in, in other videos but today we're kind of talking more about projection but we deal with the feelings okay we deal with those feelings so that is the trauma cycle if um, if you're going through any of these kind of feelings you, and you think you'd like to talk more about them um, it does help to talk with with someone so I'm available for um, for either online sessions or um, sessions in my practice 
you can feel free to contact me and we can set up uh, a session. Food for thought, I think. Um, let me know what you think about this. Feel free to share this with other people, okay? But be compassionate about it. And um, I hope it helps, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself.